Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. The Macomb County prosecutor Pete Lucido said he couldn't comprehend why someone would just walk up to another human being and stab them. Two people stabbed by Shane Burns allegedly, one of them fatally. We understand from Pete Lucido that apparently has said so far nothing to investigators about why he would do something so heinous. As a result of the videos, you can even see this individual walking four steps away and then coming back to slash her throat. That is the way the Macomb County prosecutor says Shane Burns would eventually kill Cheryl Ryan Parsley as she filled her tire with air in Roseville, stabbing her 10 to 12 times. And about 13 minutes later, Burns would stab a man in St. Clair Shores, also multiple times. Thankfully, he survived. It is a shame, it is sad, it is just horrific what has happened here. The prosecutor says the stabbings were very brutal, but apparently random. Why does somebody get up at that time of the morning or maybe been up all night? Was he medicated? Was he not medicated? We can get into all the particulars, but it's still ongoing as to what was the motive in this case. The 31-year-old suspect with a lengthy rap sheet that may have portended or at least was in line with his eventual alleged behavior. The prior criminal history that he had in this case, Mr. Burns, shows that there has been assaultive uh, nature as well as weapons in the past. Warren police would eventually take Burns into custody. The prosecutor says once he got to the Roseville Police Department, he began biting at his wrists. An officer ordered him to stop. He tussled with that officer and reportedly grabbed a knife, slitting his own wrist. A search of Burns' vehicle turned up guns and ammunition. Burns is charged with eight counts, including first degree premeditated murder. Burns is being held on $10 million cash surety bond. A probable cause hearing is scheduled for May 31st. Hillary Golston, Fox 2 News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.